Hello, my name is Aaron. Today I'm going to show you how to paint your brake calipers for cheap. You can do it yourself. Let's get to work. For this project, we've got a jack that you'll need, got some paint, Rust Oleum acrylic enamel, uh, paint and primer. This time I got the gloss cherry red. Got some sandpaper, some tape, some Dawn dish soap and a rag, and then finally we also have the plastic bags from the grocery store that we're going to put underneath the brake calipers in order to protect the other parts of the wheel from getting paint on them. And now what we're doing is just loosening up those lug nuts and we're doing this before we jack it up and the reason why is because we don't want to jack it up and be pulling and tugging on the lug nuts and cause the car to come off. Now I bought a tire iron. I will leave that link in the description. That tire iron is much better than the one that came with the car, <laughs> which is the one I'm using now. And now that I got the lug nuts all loosened up, I just jacked it up and then went over and unscrewed them with my fingers. And now, the thing I did there was just turn the brake caliper towards myself. Now we're dusting it off. And sanding it, starting off with the 80. And you can work your way up if you want to, but this is not like detailing work. You know, it is gonna be behind the wheel, so it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. All right, so there we got it. What you wanna do is you wanna put some tape over this heading out of the brake caliper, that exposing what's beneath, that does as well, and then the rubber pieces, there's one above and below as well, I've taped. And we just shake up the old spray paint for about a minute. As you can see, we've got our plastic bags underneath there. Stretch it out, use the elasticity, and put it underneath the brake calipers to protect what's underneath. And then we're gonna wait 15 minutes after our first light coat to paint our second a little bit heavier coat. Wait 15 minutes again for our final and heaviest third coat. And then you're going to want to wait 24 hours and let that sit and settle and dry. And now here, as you can see, I'm just getting out my pocket knife, cutting off the plastic and we're going to take off some of that painter's tape we put on earlier. The gloss red really came out well and there's primer as well so you don't have to worry about priming it beforehand. It's really nice. Finally we're just going to put the tire back on. Tightening up the lug nuts by hand, just to start out with while it's raised up on the jack. I'm gonna use the tool to get it tight, but not tight tight, if that makes sense. Lower it back down. And then we're gonna tighten it for reels. And you wanna go cross from each other every time you, if you change the tire, you know what I'm talking about. You don't want to tighten the one and then tighten the one beside of it. You want to go across just like that. I'm using the can of spray paint to hammer it in, to hammer it on there to get good torque. And there we have it, the final product. So, a few days later, still holding up really well. The paint's dried, it looks great. I also took the liberty of painting the little Chevy bow tie, matte black there. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So on the screen here, we have all of our prices. We've got two cans of spray paint for a grand total of $36.51. Be sure to check out part one 
If you're interested in this kind of thing, leave a like if this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless.